So, let's start by talking about what synaptogenesis actually is. Synapses are the sites where neurons communicate with each other, allowing for the transmission of information in the brain. When two neurons come into close proximity, they can form a synapse by sending out specialized structures called dendrites and axons. These structures interact with each other, allowing for the release of neurotransmitters, which are chemicals that carry signals between neurons. During synaptogenesis, neurons form new synapses and strengthen existing ones, creating a complex network of connections that allow for efficient communication in the brain. This process is crucial for brain development, as it allows for the creation of circuits that are essential for learning and memory. So, how does synaptogenesis work? It's a complex process that involves a number of different mechanisms. One of the key players in synaptogenesis is a protein called synaptotagmin, which helps to regulate the release of neurotransmitters at the synapse. Another important mechanism is the growth of dendritic spines, which are small protrusions on the surface of dendrites that allow for the formation of new synapses. This process is driven by a number of different factors, including the activation of signaling pathways that promote dendritic growth and the release of neurotransmitters that stimulate the formation of new synapses.